Do you have a parting on this side of your head, but you want to actually go the other way? So can you actually train your hair to go in the opposite direction? And that's what we're talking about today. So I always say in order for your hair to lay the best, for it to you know, move the way you want it to move, and you can see instantly when I go with the way the, the hair grows or the, the green, the way the hair grows out of your scalp, it just lays perfectly flat, it cooperates. The minute I start to want to go over this way, look what happens. You can see it's sticking up because the hair naturally does not go that way. So what is your scalp telling you and your hair telling you going, hey, what's going on, man? What are you doing? We don't grow that way, you know? <laughs> so it wants to revert back to, the how, to how you were born, right? To how your hair was, you know, the, the way the hair growth pattern that you were born with, it wants to revert back to that. So when it comes to training your hair to go the opposite way and what happens, well, typically you'll actually get a lot more volume if you go against the way the hair grows. However, your hair needs to be long enough for it to actually make that loop or to go around. Because if you just have really short hair like this and you try to style it, unless you're using like a lot of product, chances are it's gonna look kind of messy and then it's gonna to wanna to kind of revert back to this and you may be left having like all this volume here and this being very, very flat at the part. So you're gonna need something that, you're gonna have a product like my matte paste or power cream or something that's gonna really, really help keep that hair in place. However, now, if you decide that you wanna go the opposite way, the best tools that I would use are, you know, water or when you get out of the shower, you when your hair is damp, it's the best time to do these types of things. So what you would need is a vent brush. This is a vent brush that I do sell on my website, shop.thesalonguy.com. Use code YouTube20 for 20% off. This brush, I've been selling this brush for like at least, I think almost a year and a half now. And thank you for purchasing them. They, they're a hot seller. The great thing about this is an anti-static vent brush. So when you go like this, you're not getting static and flyaways, which is really amazing. Also, it's got a rubber handle, which I actually like the best because you have so much control over the rubber handle. It's not one of those plastic handles. It's actually coated with rubber here, so you have a really good grip. So the wide teeth really, really help maneuver the hair and get through the hair very easily. I would never, ever use a hair cutting comb to do this because you're, gonna, you're just going to rip out hairs from your scalp and you don't want to do that. You need a wide tooth vent brush like this to be able to get through the hair. And what you need to do when the hair is damp, firstly, see what's gonna happen. So part the hair and comb it in the opposite direction. And you can already see that the hair wants to jump back and, and spring back into the way it goes. So it's almost sticking up a little bit because again, there's that shock value of going, hey, my hair doesn't grow like this, what's going on? So your hair's like going, trying to revert back. But what you need to do is when you blow dry your hair, and yes, I suggest using a blow dryer. Don't be scared of it. This is the blow dryer that I sell. It's an ionic blow dryer. It folds like this, so it's great for travel. Also, it comes with the nozzle, which you have to use a nozzle. And it also comes with this awesome diffuser if you're looking to create more waves in your hair. And also, it's, we've updated to magnetic attachments. So what you need to do when you are blow drying your hair, and the reason you want to use this nozzle is because it directs the hair like a laser beam. It directs the air right at that area, that targeted area. If you don't, the hair just the air is going to blow the hair all over the place. So you need this targeted air stream, which is what the nozzle's for. So how to the vent brush and this work in sync? Well, what you need to do is you need to actually start blow drying over the hair and almost like you're ironing in, like you're ironing a shirt, you have to iron in with the heat and the dryer and the brush that parting, okay? So you have to actually use heat and use the brush to really manipulate and work that hair over going the opposite direction. And it's gonna take some work, it's gonna take some time, but if you really wanna get your hair to go the other way, you can possibly do it. It's always gonna to wanna to go back to its natural state, but you can also, on this side where the part originally was, you have to go down this way, right? Blow dry the hair down, blow dry it forward, so you can get that, like this, you can get that parting to work down this way. 
So it's a lot of manipulation, a lot of movement, a lot of work with the blow dryer. And I don't know why, but I do get this question. People say, well, what's going to happen when I wash my hair, wet my hair? Is it going to go away? Well, of course. This is not like plastic surgery. The minute you wet your hair or wash your hair, it's going to revert back to how it was. So you got to be careful. This is something, again, that really is more of a, alter, a temporary alteration. Now, if you do this for years and years and years, yes, your, your hair may start to get used to being on this opposite side, but your hair always, it's never going to change the way it naturally grows from your head. Just keep that in mind. So please let me know in the comments below. Try this. If you try this tip out, it's going to take some time. It can be a temporary fix. Just make sure that your hair is long enough to actually go over because if it's not like this, chances are you can see it's already starting to spike back up. You need to have longer hair on top, at least like four inches or so, because you need the hair to swoop over this way and that weight to cover this, to hold this down. All right. So let me know in the comments below if you've tried this, if you actually have changed your part in the past, you know, you can share some of your experiences. Don't forget use code YouTube20 at shop.thesalonga.com for the brush, the blow dryer, anything I've got there. So thanks for your support and I'll see you soon.